Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back out at the mall as my hot topic this morning posted. They got in some more of the Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pops. You know we definitely gotta grab them. They have the amazing Spider-Man along with MJ and Doctor Strange. So let's head inside and let's get hunting. Now we're here at Hot Topic and it does look like they have some of the new figures right here with the amazing Spider-Man. They also have Doctor Strange. Got plenty of both of those. There's also MJ here as well. And as outside of that, looks like they still have some of the Hot Topic Expo stuff like Robert Smith. They also have some new Jim Halpert Funko Sodas from The Office, which is pretty cool. They still have the three pack of Blink-182, Dr. Facilier, the Peter Pan at two pack. They also have the new Cuphead Pops as well and some of the exclusive My Hero Academia figures, a ton of them all over. Successful quick hunt in and out, a hot topic right there, grabbing what we need. And I had a nice little surprise because I did not think they were gonna have the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, and they did. Not the uh, exclusive metallic, but they had the regular one, so I did still want to pick that one up. But now let's just go across the street to Target and check out what else they have, and then we'll head home. And now here at Target, it does look like they have a lot of the same stuff they had before. Four, five finger death punch some moon knight figures they do have one of the funko ornaments i've not seen that phoebe one yet they have aquaman shuri some miss marvel looks like some thor love and thunder here as well and on this other shelf it looks like they still have some of the justice league figures martian manhunter and aquaman green lantern as well looks like some more like black panther some nycc figures more black panther down there there's this really cool Captain Marvel comic cover, which is awesome. And on this other random shelf, it looks like they have a Blacklight Wasp, the Retro R2-D2, actually a ton of the Wasp, and some more of R2-D2 and Haja from Obi-Wan. All right, guys, we are back home with the loot. Hot Topic came in clutch today. It was just a quick run. No, Nothing over at Target when we stopped over, at least nothing that we needed. Uh, but definitely happy that we were finally able to see those Spider-Man No Way Home Pops hitting stores and now we just need the metallic toby and then some of the villains in that finale suit and i'm definitely going to be excited for when those finally start showing up in stores i'm going to guess sometime over the next couple weeks maybe even right after the new year we're going to see them all in stores so you'll be able to pick yours up very soon if you have not already but i'm definitely happy with the four pops that we picked up today so let's go ahead and check out what we got so the first figure that we have here was definitely one of my favorites this is the amazing Spider-Man, of course, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. This is definitely an awesome looking figure. I'm glad that they made them all in different poses, but still having their suits as they were in the movie, just so that way you can have the maximum way to tell them apart. I love the amazing Spider-Man suit, especially with the eyes, how it makes it so much different than the other ones in the Spider-Man universe. So definitely a really great figure, and he's in an awesome stance as well. I mean, Andrew's one of my favorites. I think he might still be my favorite Spider-Man out of all three, uh, although he doesn't have the best movies compared to the others. But might just be my favorite in terms of just like the character, the balance between Peter and also Spider-Man and the way that Spider-Man looks. I just love it a lot. But this pop is definitely really awesome. The way that he has his stance is super cool where he's jumping in the areas on that jumping stand and then he has his arms by his side one of his hands open and the one other one in a fist i would have also loved to see him maybe in like a kicking stance as well that would have been pretty cool and then you even have the details on his open hand where you can actually see his web shooter as well this is a great one and again those eyes i love the black outline and everything his eyes look great and then actually hidden a little bit behind and somebody else that was digging for some pops ended up finding this one and they didn't post it this morning so i'm super happy that we were able to find it this one is the friendly neighborhood spider-man toby mcguire's spider-man pop and this one is amazing i really love the detail on this suit right here it is really great the way they have the webbing and everything it's so distinct compared to andrew or tom's suits this one is definitely really great and when you look at it, you could definitely tell just the way the webbing looks here with that silver going all the way through the suit that looks awesome and he is in that jumping stance as well with his knees up he's actually looking like he's shooting a web so that's just a great dynamic pose 
and I just absolutely love the detail on the suit. And now we're still waiting for Tom Holland Spider-Man, the, both the regular Spider-Man and the Fan Alley suit Spider-Man, but we do have another one of the gang here from the movie, and this one is going to be MJ, who was definitely a big, big part of this last movie, and I like how she took another jump, and she was really one of the main leads. Because I really do like Zendaya. I like her portrayal as MJ. So this one was definitely one that I wanted to grab as well. Because I definitely really enjoyed it. And it has some little bit extra detail that's important to the movie in this pop. And so this MJ figure is her actually holding the box that Doctor Strange brings out. That will send everybody back to their dimensions. So we have her in like her purple sweater and everything. Nothing like that is too crazy. But the box is crazy detailed with the multi di multiple different colors there with like the green and the black and the gold. That definitely does look pretty cool. And it looks like they even made out a handle for her to hold on to as well. And then our final pop that we picked up today from No Way Home is Doctor Strange. And this thing looks crazy detailed. It's definitely the heaviest pop of the four that we picked up today. But this thing is really cool. And this one's actually of him doing the spell from the beginning of the movie. Uh, and then I guess maybe he was doing it at the end as well. We're at making everyone forget who Peter Parker is. But definitely a awesome and detailed figure. And when I first saw this out of the box, it really did surprise me of how big it really was. The way that the spells are just completely going around just giant circles around Doctor Strange. It really does look cool and actually looks like some different language is written on there as well which is pretty sweet i would have loved to this maybe be a glow in the dark that could be a variant that they release in the future that would be pretty sick he does actually have a little bit of something coming off his right hand as well where he is just having the spell go all around him too along with some powers in his left hand like a little bit of energy and the suit is super detailed as well i think that's some of the most detail we saw on a Doctor Strange suit yet, both on the inside and the outside of it. This one looks fantastic. Well, guys, there's our look at our pickups from today's Funko Hunt. Glad we were able to add some more Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pops to our collection. All of these are absolutely sick. I cannot wait to pick up the other Spider-Man uh, for Tom Holland Spider-Man and all of the villains, the exclusives, and then, of course, my most anticipated for them all is going to be the Funko Shop e exclusive uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man with the mask off and then also Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man with the mask off. Those are the two that I'm super excited to pick up for my collection. But guys, they do want to hear from you as well. What do you think about our pickups today? Have any of the Spider-Man No Way Home figures start hit your stores? Which ones have you picked up so far and which ones do you plan on getting? Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. And of course, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it. And of course, you can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. Also, check out our description. We got some great stuff for you, not only to link to our social media, but also some coupon codes where you can use our coupon in the description for 10% off your purchase at Vaulted Vinyl. And that's where we get our preferred Funko Pop protectors of choice. So protect your pops with some Vault of Vinyl ones and use our coupon code to save some money. And then you can also use our link for Whatnot, which is a great app for you to buy and sell your own collectibles. And if you use our link that's in the description to sign up, first purchase, you get $15 off. That is crazy. There are a ton of Funko Pops on there. So you can get a pop for practically free using our link. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.